Hi everyone, this is the radiograph of the hip joint anterior posterior view or you may say this is the radiograph of the pelvis. Now in these features you will see the outline of the hip bone and you see this is the acetabular margin, this is the acetabular cavity, in this you will see the head of the femur, this is the depression on the head of the femur and you will see here the curvature that is the neck lower border of the neck of the femur this is the upper border of the neck of the femur this is the lesser tuber trochanter of the femur this is the greater trochanter of the femur this is the shaft of the femur and you look this is the cortical part of the femur and in this part you will see this is the medullary cavity and you will look this lower border of the neck forms and uh, oblique line that means an arcuate curved line with the obturator foramen of the hip bone. This is the obturator foramen and this line is known as Shenton's line. And this Shenton's line is important because in the fracture of the neck of the femur this Shenton's line is not smooth like this. So there will be the distortion of the Shenton's line and also this upper line which has got no name actually. Now you will see here the hip bone, the hip bone there is the medial arcuate line of the hip bone, the superior border of the pubis, superior ramus of the pubis you will see. So this is the pelvis, you will look at this, this is the obturator foramen, this is the ischial tuberosity and you will look here this black color is the shadow of the gas. So when an x-ray of the abdomen is done, straight x-ray, you have to remove the gas by giving laxative in the previous day. After taking 12 hours of the meal, you will do the x-ray. Next is that here you can see the sacrum. You also see the ala of the sacrum. You will see the sacroiliac joint, this joint line you will see here that it is, this joint line is black in color. You will see here in the midline there is a prominence and this prominence it demarcate the shadow of the spine. This is the end on view you will see of the pedicle and in the middle you will see the black color it demarcates the shadow of the spinal cord that means spinal cord is a soft tissue it does not cast any shadow that's why it is black in color now looking at the pubic arch you will see it is very wide you will see the cavity of the pelvis is also gynecoid and this is white pubic arch and this white pubic arch it will say that this person is belongs to the female so this is how you will read the x-ray in the examination and also in the later period of the life. Thank you everyone for watching this video.